What's happening, YouTube? Ed the Kid 51 here. Sorry that you're not looking at my face. I apologize for that. I have uh, I just set the camera down, um, and I'm starting to work on the glove box. It's, uh, it's all nicely painted and everything. Scuffing it down with a gray Scotch Bright. Um, I actually did it already before I turned the camera on, but you know, figured I'd bring you guys along real quick. A uh, little step by step. Um, just you know so you guys know I am still new at this but I am I've been working at it quite often and quite a lot I am uh, very into and very interested in pursuing this a lot further and uh, doing stuff for guys in the garage um, by all means again I, I have you know there's anybody else out there in the garage that would like stuff airbrushed um, just uh, PM me it would be awesome um, you know, we'll talk about prices and money later, uh, you know, at that time, but, you know, I'm, I'm still learning, so, as far as money goes, it's, you, it's pretty much just for materials, um, again, this one here, uh, this particular piece, um, it was a trade-off, he, uh, gave me, um, one of my airbrushes, which is, uh, this one here, hold on, uh, this, uh, this is the airbrush here, this is a uh, Iwata uh, Eclipse HPCS, um, this is my other one here, this is a, a Badger 150, that was uh, given to me by uh, DTS Designs, um, so you know, we can work something out. Uh, again, it more than likely cost of, more than likely for now would be uh, would go towards uh, material. But anyhow, this is a uh, the start of it. Scuffing it down. Great Scotch Bright. Sorry for the background noise. I got the monitor on. My son is upstairs watching Toy Story. Um, I took the quick opportunity to at least start this a little bit. Um, We'll try to get as far as long as I can over the weekend. But uh, that's that. Now I'm going to clean that. Okay. I use, may not be the right thing to use, but I use a glass cleaner. Um, I've seen quite a few Everest artists use it, so it's readily available to me so it's uh, what I use a couple of squirts on the napkin wipe this down down basically just clean off all the dust from the what we just sanded so that's that okay gonna let that sit and dry um it's actually already started to dry and as you guys can see it's dull now from it being scuffed up let me grab my uh uh, my mask. Uh, be two seconds here. Uh. Oh, knocking shit down. All right. There you go. Here goes my masking. Roll the mask.
No wrinkles, no wrinkles. <laughs> Alright, two seconds. It'll be easier if I just uh, I pick up a freaking razor. There you go. Bondo spreader. Alright, I will be taping that edge. I want to get the majority of this. <clears throat> Alright, now what I'm going to do, I hope you guys can see this. I hope the camera's at a good enough angle. Okay, I'm going to split this edge here. Let me get a, a new razor. Hold on. I got some right here. Ugh. Brand new, out of the package. Oh, that was my son. He's getting ready to call me, so I might have to cut this short a little bit, but I'm going to split this right down here. And the reason why, and I hope this is in the camera, if not, I'll, I'll show you. I'm splitting these corners here. Being careful not to cut my panel. Um, yeah, pick this up. As you can see, I cut the corners, both sides on the bottom, and the reason for that is so I can roll this edge over without having any wrinkles in my masking. So that's that. Um, a lot of this stuff I've seen, done, some of it. I've also uh, kind of just thought of, or you know, just common sense, I guess. You know, I don't know. So, uh, roll this edge under here. Okay, I gotta lift this up, and I have the, uh, I have the. Um, what you call it, the uh, shop napkins or whatever there so I, I don't scratch this. So, roll it on there. It's not sticking very well, but I can, I'll put a nice piece of tape there. I'm going to fold that under there. And I think my son is getting restless. He's getting restless, so I might have to cut this short, fellas. But I will be back later on this evening. So, let me just finish rolling these edges over. And he's throwing shit now. And... Kids, huh? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? the kid 51 here um, I'm in my little work studio here getting ready to do some airbrush well getting ready to start the process um, I'm not gonna be airbrushing on it right this moment um, I'm in a little I'm in the spirit you know I'm getting in the mood got my radio playing some Christmas music um, so uh, just catch you guys up to speed um, so I mashed this off you guys saw that in the last cut I got all the edge taped off there. 
I got the bottom taped off. That's what the back looks like. Nothing going on in the back. Um, so that's that. Here is the sketch or design that's going on it. Okay, it's a pretty big piece of paper. You know, it's out of my my big sketchbook. But as you can see, I've uh, previously asked them about the dimensions. They gave me the dimensions, so it's outlined. So I am going to cut this perimeter to fit that. It's a little, it's a tad bit larger, but that's all right. Um, it'll fit. Everything fits in perfect. Uh, there you go. Buildings in the background. Terrain. I'm going to do a little better with the grass. Um, a little cartoonish truck. Trees in the background. Mountain. Signature. Cute little mouse. I'm going to try to do a little bit of a job with the mouse. Um, well, that's going on there so I am gonna shut you guys off I'm gonna cut this out and uh, once I get it cut out and ready to be laid on and I'll, I'll show you exactly how the process goes or whatever for those um, for those of you who would like to know all right so what's happening YouTube um, I apologize I kind of got caught up in a moment and uh, Start to work without you guys. So I'm gonna turn this on real quick. As you can see, I'm holding this down because that's my placement. Um, there's the sketch cut out. Sorry for the view. It's kind of shitty. Um, this black paper, um, it's transfer paper. It's uh, it's like the stuff that's on like uh, the back of a check. You know, you write a check. You have those extra pages. That's what that is. So it's the same exact thing. Um, so I'm sketching over the drawing and underneath is underneath the drawing is the transfer paper and underneath that is the panel um, what's happening is the transfer paper is like a check it's transferring the image over as I sketch over it um, so I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes once I'm done with that so you can see right. add the kid 51 back again um, so here you go bring the light down a little closer lift this up for you so there you go Drawings transferred right onto the glove box. Now, next step is to take my exacto and very ever so gently cut out or outline all that, cut it out so that way I can peel my masking up and start the spray. Um, you gotta be very careful with that because uh, this will cut right into your paint and then you'll have gouges in your paint and uh, that we don't want that we don't want we want to make it look like it supposed to be there so it gotta be very gentle um, you have to cut multiple multiple times just to get the tape to peel up and do so don't press hard just very lightly um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do now and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to start brushing. All right? See the few. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. So here's the transfer paper. I don't know if you guys can. Let's see, can you make it? Can you make it out? Let me. Uh, oh no! Can you see? Let me see. You guys can't. Oh, you can see it a little bit in the camera. So there you go. There is the. Uh, it transferred through the image, uh, through the paper, the transfer paper. So, that's that. All right, so there you go. I'll bring so you guys YouTube, back. Right. Ed the Kid 51 here again. Um, all right, so let's uh, bring you guys up to speed. You guys can see, I'm pretty much all set up. Um, there you go. You can see I got my masking cut so uh, I don't really have a spot to set you guys up to watch this one I gotta get kind of close and it's got to be at the edge of the table so this is a little tough um, if I could figure out a way to kind of set you guys up uh, behind me behind my shoulder here
kind of peering down, then I'll do it. Um, I kind of got an idea, so let me, I'm going to shut you guys off in a minute and try it. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. But, uh, so technically, not technically, what I'm going to do to start is, um, that there is the back, that's the, the color there. You guys can barely see it peeking out there. You guys saw what it looked like before I masked it all up. Um, so I'm going to keep the truck that color. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm kind of just going to shadow off stuff. Um, just so, uh. You know you can kind of see it so I'm just gonna very lightly miss some uh, transparent black right here giving my shadow effect on this uh, body line here that 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 line there is gonna be white um, so that's what it what it is in all the references that I've seen it has that white tone so that's what I'm gonna do um, this point here is actually a body line and it actually follows all the way through so that's gonna get some transparent black right under there as a shadow so it pops out that's gonna be that um, same thing with uh, right in here these are body lines also on the hood so those are gonna get some shadows there um, show the differences in the the uh, the hood. So uh, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. You know, basically just gonna shadow off areas on the truck and keep it the same color. So I'm gonna reduce my transparent black um, quite heavily, um, just to get a ever so slight difference of shadowing down here, or just you know, in all the shadow areas of the truck. Um, I don't want to change the color. I did actually buy a silver that's a little darker, or not darker, it's actually a little lighter than the body of the, than the actual color. So I'm gonna give this a, a go. If it doesn't work, or if I don't like it, later on, then I'll uh, introduce the silver that I did and work from there. But I'm gonna try this out. It should work. I think I'm gonna like it. I think they're gonna like it, which is most important. Um, so I don't really want to change the color of the truck uh, too much. So I'm gonna use the existing color that's there and work with it. So bring you guys back in a little while. I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out a way to get you guys set up over my shoulder. Um, if I can do that, then that'd be pretty dope and I'll get you guys set up so you guys can watch along with me as I work, all right? Uh, I'll see you guys in a little while. Bye. What's up, YouTube? Ed the Kid 51 here. Um, bringing you guys back to show you where I'm at so far. Um, sorry, I uh, didn't get the chance. I kind of just kept working. I didn't uh, even bother to kind of figure out a way to get the camera posted up over my shoulder. But, um,. I'm gonna I'll give it a try tomorrow when I come back down tomorrow. Uh, see if I can guys I can get you guys up. You know, working along with me here. Um, but let me show you where I'm at so far. <clears throat> there goes the truck. So let's see if I can get this light a little better for you. But uh, there goes the truck. Got some shadowing there. Uh, this area here, I'm gonna bring the shadow down just a little bit more. Um, line the, between the bed and the uh, cab. Shadows on the body lines and the hood. Started working on the chrome bumpers and the chrome headlight bezels. I'll get better at that tomorrow. Shadows within the cab. Shadows underneath. Body, because that rolls on there naturally. Um, the wheels here, you can see they're gray and black. Um, it, I, I, it mentally, I, it, it, it looked better in my mind. Um, so I'm actually going to change that. Um, I'm going to do... 
um, white wheels or or white yeah white wheels and a gray chrome center cap um, that's the way the original truck is and this truck is a uh, pretty much going back to stock so that's what I'm gonna do um, so it, I think it'll look a little better there and you see the shadows on the hood where the hood kind of lays over the headlights and the grill slightly so that's where I'm at so far you can kind of see that white right there it goes all the way down the side of the truck and along the front those are kind of like highlights contrasts where let's say the sun kind of glares off the clear on the truck that was that's what I'm trying to get there um, looks better in person you kind of get the idea a lot better in person than you do here on the camera um, but uh, well, yeah that's pretty much where I'm at um, hopefully you can get a lot more done tomorrow uh, lesson learned um, paint your background before you paint your foreground so in other words what I should have done is done my grass my sky my trees my mountain the buildings all prior to doing the truck reason being is now I have to do some creative masking once I do finish the truck tomorrow do some creative masking with my frisket which is a see-through masking well frisket comes in two different it's a see-through or not see-through but I have see-through it's masking the type of airbrush masking um, so I gotta do some creative masking with my frisket to mask the truck um, in such a awesome way where the outlines don't blow out when I do paint my grass sky and trees so for instance all this in here all that in there the trees in the background on the windows and stuff that all should have been painted first all that up there should have all been painted first you live and you learn so hopefully I can do a hell of a job masking and uh, I could do a hell of a job masking then um, I should be okay which I, I, I think if I uh, take my time I should be alright um, I'm not very worried cause I have enough paint and if god forbid shit something gets fucked up then I kinda gotta scuff it up and do it again um, so that's just the late that's just how it works you live and you learn excuse me for the yawn um, you live and you learn so that's uh, today's lesson um, for myself and others who didn't know um, it's my first time painting something with dimension so this is a lesson learned for myself um, and this is the way to learn it in the process of doing stuff so um, you know there's two dimensions there's the foreground and the background in this piece and uh, the background should have been painted before the foreground so you live and you learn and um, now I gotta work at keeping what I have good enough masking it well enough so when I do the background and all that stuff I'll be alright well I'm gonna say goodnight I'm gonna go snuggle up next to my wife and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow later